I am amazed. In 2014, this year, April the 5th, I was in a bad car accident. I had to take the lodge from Telegraph. And when I took the lodge from Telegraph, I noticed cars in front of me swerving. And I couldn't fully understand what was going on, but I know they were swerving, so I slowed up. And when the last car got out of, from being in front of me, I noticed a big piece of metal. So in trying to avoid the metal, I um, uh, turned real sharply, I was told, to the right. My car went out of control. I drive a, I drove a Explorer SUV, and uh, it went out of control, so it swerved over, hit another car. And then after that, it proceeded to roll down the lodge. It flipped over about three times, and I was conscious to notice everything. And I remember all twisted up in the truck. This lady, till this day, I still believe it's a, it was an angel. Well, anyway, she came and she, she kneeled down on the ground, and she says, honey, reach for my hand. So I reached for her hand and she held my hand and she prayed in the spirit with me real loud until the ambulance came and they had to pull me out of the truck and they took me to Providence Hospital. A couple days later, the doctor entered into my room and he stated that he needed to do surgery because I had broke my neck. And it almost looked like you took a block piece out of my neck. It was just an open gap. The doctor proceeded by saying that he had to do surgery to fuse those bones together. He had to operate right behind my tongue. So, and it was only a little area that he could do surgery in. And if he did any kind of slight mix up, I could have been dead right there on the table. And the greatest thing, the greatest thing is even in the medical field, even they know that I'm a miracle. Because based on man and based on logic, I should have been paralyzed. Everything about this moment was as if God took care of every detail to make sure that when I came out of it, it was if I had never been through the fire. That's what's so amazing to me.